everybody, it is Zashron back here, or David, as you might know me now, with another video, but this one's a little different than your standard video that you normally expect, like a like a random play through, play video, play through video or a Lego video. Kind of this is a Lego video, but it's a little different again. This is actually my small birthday haul that I got this year <clears throat> for my birthday last Monday on August 8th. And I might tell you what age I turned on in the description, but it depends. We'll see. Anyways, this is not the largest birthday haul I've gotten, and I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sad, but not in a way like I'm grateful or anything. I'm just saying, eh, what if it, I was expecting a little bit more, but you know what? I'm fine with it either way, so I think we should just get started. Okay, I'll just zoom in here. Um, I'll start off with, first of all, everything on this base plate. So first of all, the plate itself is actually one of the things I got. Then I got, back here, this, the, uh, re Resistance to transport, which uh, I'm pretty happy about. That'll be used in many videos in the coming uh, year and for the future as well. Um, right here I have Princess Leia, which is. Let's see if I can uh, focus it. Let me back with it. Okay, whatever. I think you guys can see her a little bit. Well, there we go. And she actually does have another face. I've never turned it, so it's like impossible. For me, it's, it feels impossible to turn it. But this face, it's a little hard to see, but it's a little more angry than the other one. So, put that back. Okay. Next, I have Admiral Akbar. With a new custom head piece. And a little coffee mug and a little blaster. A blaster. And you got two resistance, two resistance troopers, which almost look the exact same, and just one has a uh, different head. Well, both have different heads, but and uh, just in case you've seen the set yet, they both have uh, liftable visors and their helmets. Okay, before I move on to the rest of the resistance troop transport, I think you might notice one thing here. It's a little different than other than the other Legos parts. This guy right here, I think his name is Kevin. He's a minion. I'm not. I haven't watched the movie. I know. I know. I know. I know people. I just haven't watched the movie. I never got the time to do it. So, yeah. I think this is. I think his name is Kevin. Uh, minion. There you go. He has a little banana there, which is very, which is very cool. And a little meh motorbike, it's a scooter maybe. I'm not sure. Well, whatever. I think it looks nice. Has a little. I'll try to put them on this. I guess to drop that banana. Then, yeah, clip on. So I can go and do whatever it needs to do. Um, continue on. I think also, just to let you know, this. Oops, let me base it a bit. This little sign right here is also part of the minion set. Back. So continuing on, I will continue with the transport. Which most of you by now probably have seen a review by whoever. Um, here's one. Here's mine, at least. Um, still the same basic ship. I think it looks really cool, especially the feature. When you move it here. This little... Uh, okay, guys, we're back. Sorry about that little cut there. Um, um, my battery died, so I had to get a new one. I had to recharge it a bit for about 20%, so that was a few minutes. Anyways, I was continuing. I just put on a new light so it's easier to see, guys. Um, I think I was just showing you this little hatch here. Over with here, there's a little hinge inside the ship. If I can try to tilt it. You see that little hinge moving? When I move it down, it moves up. It's a pretty simple hinge, actually. I think it's pretty cool. And also, there's the uh, two little... Let me see if I can catch it on camera. There's one, two, and... If you saw... You probably saw one... I'm not sure if you saw the second, but there are two uh, spring load missile launchers in this. Uh, I'm not going to get the other one. The other one's too far off, so two of these. Actually, there's three. There's a spare one, but yep. And then the ship can open up. It has a nice little ramp with a nice little light so people can come out. <clears throat> yeah. And then this is one of the coolest parts, I think. My, at least I think it is. Um, it has a nice little in detailed inside. It has room two computers on there so they can just check out battle plans and stuff like that on the way to their mission or 
they're just getting dropped off, and then it can all oh, try it can all snug back up, wrap those up, and fly off. Okay, so next, next part of my Lego haul as well, and actually one of the last parts, unfortunately, of this video. The uh, if you purchase over seventy-five dollars worth of Lego here in Canada, at least I know in America you can too. You get this little nice little uh, United. Uh, uh, I, I keep getting this name wrong, even though I know it's so popular. Those double-decker buses in England. Uh, yeah, let's just call it that. Um, apparently, actually, since my, when my dad was uh, studying in England, he rode this bus exact this exact one, but not well, not this exact one, but I think the same. 211B Westminster, I think it says. Yeah, but either way, I like. I think I like. I like all the stickers on this bus, especially uh, the one on the other side that I showed. So this says, "Now is the time to to visit." And this side, my favorite one, says the brick separator because it has a little brick separator, which I always thought that brown, that little bottom piece there, if I can get it to focus, was a little was part of the mouth, but it's actually a brick, and that's the separator, and it continues down. So. And there's some stickers on the back, and there's one on the front. And then you can, well, you're not really supposed to, but you can, I don't even bother. You can take it off, but it's, you're not really supposed to. And then, really just to finish it off, I got one little game here for my Xbox 360. I know, I know. I'm still a little outdated. I'm not a person that likes to play on consoles. I'm just not that person. Damage Inc., which is a World War II-based uh, fighter game set in the Pacific. Which I actually am really enjoying. It's really fun. And it's a little schematic so you can read a bit. I'll give you a second. Some basic information. Alright. Well, guys, I think that's pretty much the it of the uh, little haul I'm doing. Sorry about that. Here's the inside. Never mind. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later, guys. Bye.